Do we have another upset alert on the day? And it looks like we're going to be going three here, guys. Victoria Azarenka, the 27th ranked player on tour, taking on Elena Rybakina, who's ranked number four, ladies and gentlemen. We got a juicy one here. Victoria Azarenka came out guns blazing with heat-seeking missiles, straight laser beams. And she took the first set, ladies and gentlemen. Rybakina, is she injured? Is she not? Listen, guys, Venus Williams said it best. If you're injured, you don't play. It's simple as that. We see ladies. There's no one that's healthy on tour. This tour is so grueling. The schedule is so demanding and physical on these ladies. I don't think anyone is 100% healthy. Iga's got knee pain, right? So I think if you can play, you play. But we're getting a lot of people there. They're discounting Iga's championship with this, I don't know, notion that Elena Rabakina wasn't healthy. And... Again, haters hate like the Internet's just full of haters. Right. If you want to criticize someone, I think you have to be fair and you have to present facts when you're just making stuff up. I think that's where it's a thin line between it's just being a hater. But nonetheless, Victoria Azarenka takes the first set. We're going to see if Elena Rabakina can come back and force a third set here. But I want to take a look at some of the reasons why Elena Rabakina is working on her, her two-way play, because if she's going to be elite on tour, and remember, guys, she's, she's six years, six, five, what, five years older than Coco, right? Elena Rabakina has not had the success of Coco. Coco's 19. She's a teenager. She's the youngest player inside the top 10. Again, you guys, you got to see some of these comments that I get. These are these are people that they don't watch tennis. They don't realize how successful and accomplished Coco is. And she's 19 years old. I don't put Rebecca in the same category as Coco. Coco has seven championships and a Grand Slam, multiple Grand Slam appearances, multiple WTA final appearances at 19. Elena Rebecca is a lot older than her. I don't really put her in that category. I mean, if we're going to compare ages then Coco's eons above Elena Rabakina. And they played once. Coco won that match. So it's like, I'm, I'm not really sure what you're comparing. Coco's been the better professional athlete. She's got the higher ranking. She's She's got the hardware. I mean, let. but this is why... Rabakina doesn't do enough going to her backhand, which is a more consistent, better side. She feels comfortable with that. She sees the opening as Arenka and just hits passing shot. This is why players like Coco will do well against Rabakina. And this is this is what you got to understand. Styles make fights. Matchups make everything. It's all about the matchup, right? Not Rabakina, and I've said this time and time again, if you really follow the channel, this is how I can, I can tell someone doesn't follow the channel because they come and they argue with me about stuff that I've said not once or twice, but hundreds of times. This is, I have nearly 6,000 videos, guys. I've broken down all the players over the years. This stuff that I've talked it, I've talked about, right? I'm so excited. I'm so, I get excited for stuff like this. This stuff that I've talked about many, many times. Elena Rabakina, she's a good server, but once the ball's in play, she's gonna struggle against players like Corey Coco Golf because it's a different type of matchup. Her athletic ability, her speed, her footwork, her two-way play. You saw that match against Sabalenka at the Australian Open. Even though Coco lost, right? She got to blame herself. She had that match in the bag. She made Sabalenka look so amateurish and bad at the net. Did anyone see that match or are we just watching highlights? Did you really see how Sabalenka looked like a deer in headlights coming forward against Coco? That's how a matchup with Rabakina would be. OK, Iga's Iga's a very good athletic player, but she's not more athletic than Coco. Like, just cut it out. OK, you, do you see how Coco gets balls back? That's where Iga struggles. Iga struggles to get balls back. Her return defense is good, but it's quick strike tennis. It's for, it's a it's a, it's an aggressive forehand stepping up, hitting winners. Coco actually gets balls back and makes opponents sweat with her defense. So there's a lot of differences in how these players beat their opponents. And if you don't know these differences, it's going to confuse you. Elena Rabakina and Sabalenka, those are two ladies. Um, 
they're ranked inside the top five, right? Two and four respectively. But out of all the top five players, they're amongst, you know, having what, 60, nearly 60 losses the last few seasons. They lose matches, guys. It's not like they're undefeated. They do lose matches. And right now, Elena Rabakin is on the verge of losing this match if she cannot win the second set and force a third. Tennis in a minute. We'll be back.